Hi, we're Brett and Maria, and we are the Daily Wild Team. We want to show you what we've been building. A luxury tiny home on wheels for full-time living and travelling. So come on inside and see what we've done. Underneath me, the roof deck in. Just chilling, aren't we, babe? Chilling. Chilling. So yeah, um, like, subscribe, hit the notification where? Bell where? There. <laughs> nice one. See you in a bit. Hey guys, welcome to episode 8 of our roof box build. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the decking and how we're putting the decking together and putting it on top of the roof. Um, there's a lot of intricate bits to be put into place. Um, and just like the basic mechanisms on how to do it. Um, not like normal decking, but edited in my own way to make it fit to what we've got on the roof. And it's very simple to follow. So if you want to just stick, stick with it through this video, you'll see what I mean. Here's the decking, comes with these little clips. I'll keep it short and simple so you understand. Um, the clip goes in there. This this piece of decking sits in there like that. You drill down. So what I'm gonna see if this will work on the aluminium extrude, the extrude that I've got, um, and put it on. Let's get cracking. Let's get cutting down the first pieces. Um, so probably about 30 centimeters. That'll do the first length. I probably need about 10 cuts. So let's see how much this does and then I'm gonna to have to buy another pack of these I think so let's get going guys we've managed to get it done we've managed to get all the fucking pieces cut this was an absolute nightmare well it wasn't it was the easiest thing i've ever done that thing came in handy um basically all the same size with the spaces in between what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a bolt dead down the center of each part each piece because they're not big enough uh, two seconds these aren't big enough i could potentially drill a um six mil hole into these but then when it comes to the other side of it it's not six mil so i, I won't i don't think i'll be able to get away with it i'll try actually i'll give it a go i'll come back to you okay here we go we've got the pieces got them all with the bolts in i've not done the other side until we're up there but basically what i'm doing is i'm bolting straight through the decking from the top and then that will go onto the metal bar and it'll be with the t-bolts that we used before uh, nice and tight uh, when I've tightened it up on the top, but this is just to show you guys um, But yeah, that'll look absolutely banging up on the top of the deck um, And it'll take all weight that we need up there. So I'm doing the first side that's going to open up and the rest is going to be um, Unable to be lifted. It's just going to be Clean storage from either side for like skis and snowboards and stuff like that So that's just going to be accessible from the other big compartments. So I'll take these up. We've done two different colors. We're going for um, like a light, dark, light, dark, light, dark, light, dark. Um, these are the two different types. They look awesome. Got them real cheap from B&Q because they're discontinued. So I just picked them up and brought them home with me, but they're, they're awesome, exactly the same composite material, same size. They fit perfect. So I'm going to take this out to the van now, um, whack it on the roof. Let's do that. Let's get on to the next side. There you go, guys. 
Here we go. So this is the first half. The rest is going to be a massive U-shape. Um, it'll be connected all it'll look nice and smooth along the edge. Um, yeah, so I've got a bracket across here and across there so I can square off the window. And all this bit will all be one massive piece of decking. And there'll be an attachment in the middle that just slot in over the window. But this is it so far. This is the first one. First piece in place. That opens this whole entire storage area here. I think Maria's gonna put some plants and stuff up here, which will be awesome for her because she absolutely loves plants. So um, yeah, that's the first bit, nice and snug fit. So this is the decking on the left. And for the right, I'm gonna explain what I'm gonna do here. So that's the support beam for the back end of the panel. There'll be a support coming across here, all the way across. So I'm doubling up this. Then I'm also going to have a support coming along the inside of here and then across here. So basically reboxing everything that's here, plus adding the boxes across on those parts so that we can have the um, centerpiece clear. And then we're going to add a bar across the inside of there and across the inside of here so that we can put a center bit that will fit over the window. So let's get the cutting. Here we go, guys. So I've just collected the um whoop. just collected the um decking this is the stuff we're using got some stuff in the back i've just got to cut this down so it fits in the car i've cut this length because that's the length that we need to put it to to be able to get it in the van uh, on the van on the roof so let's take this off now yeah that's it we've gone and got our decking now so we're gonna head back um i'm gonna cut this down quickly and then we'll head back and, and crack on and get it on the roof eh it's in a bit Go. Nice. Get out of here, guys. Let's get this wood back, get it on top of the car, on top of the van, and uh, crack on, I guess. Let's go. Okay guys, so we're back, we're on the roof. Um, I'm just gonna disconnect all the dark panels. All it is is an unscrew and then a slide off. And then I will replace these with a lighter panel. Um, yeah, so a lighter panel will go in there. So it'll be the same color panel all the way across and all the way across here. So we've got this support here which is the same height as this. Um, so that means that I've got to put um, a support bar straight across this. So raising that up, I may just raise this whole unit up or I may take this out and put a beam all the way across, which is still the center support, but then use this metal for something else. Um, I don't know yet, but it's coming together. It's getting there. I've got loads of stuff up here, like fucking gloves and stuff. Um, but yeah, this is still here. Well, I don't think it would have gone anywhere, but well, we are in, we are in near London. It's kind of a dodgy area. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna crack on with this, get these off, um, go get the other bits, bring them out, drill them in, um, put them on, and then we should be ready to rock to get the rest of this on. I just need to put the support bars and the crossbars in, um, and then we'll be banging. What I'm gonna be doing is using the, the light brown decking again, and creating a wall to go around the window, like so. Um, that way it's nice from the inside as well. You don't see any of the metal work. So yeah, let's crack on. Whoa, 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 this 
get this focus. Uh, terrible, terrible camera. I've got my little MOT light up here. Um, just finished cutting all the deck in. So these are all the bits. I'm gonna go on the roof and fit them this side. And then tomorrow I'll do these ones because it's too light, too dark now. These are the cross members that I'm gonna be putting in. Um, I've got to cut some L brackets, so I'll do that tomorrow morning. Um, yeah, so I should have the decking up by Saturday afternoon. Um, I'll go go put these pieces on now because they're ready to go on. Um, the light is absolutely terrible. I'm really sorry. I've just got back from picking them up with the decking. I'm back in. I've got all my shit everywhere. Um, I'm going to crack on. Plus, I want to go in the hot tub tonight because um, it's relaxation for the nation um, tonight. So I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to get these roof panels up first. So. Um, decking panels up. Um, let's see what they look like. Uh, I'm going to crack them in now. Um, and then come back and show you tomorrow, I think. Um, peace. Okay. Okay. We're back. This is uh, episode eight. We're doing the um, roof. I'm putting on all the decking, which is over here. Just for y'all guys to see. There's the decking. Cut up the metal bits. Move my work bit place around here now. Um, get a lot of sun during the day in here. Well, sun when it's not like super foggy right i love this though i love when they're like the, the, the like steam comes out of like heaters i love that i don't know why it's just like it's me right van's over there we're gonna um i'm gonna crack on putting the metal framework for the decking putting that metal framework in place joining it all up making little supports for it and then what we're gonna do is whack all that decking on today so me and Maria should be sat on the top of that with a coffee later on. Happy fucking days, eh? <laughs> well, we hope so, anyway. Um, yeah. Let's get to it. Let's get to cutting. Let's get into prepping. Let's get uh, all this rooftop done so that we can fucking crack on. Um, this has taken ages. This has taken over a week and a half to do because I've been waiting on decking. I've been doing other stuff in between and filming it, but I don't want to release it until I've done this series. Um, you'll see snippets of it. Um... In this video, I believe, I'm gonna put a little bit of something in there, but um, yeah, we'll crack on with this for now. I think we're busy enough, peace. guys brett here um on the roof i think this is like the fourth take of this video attempting it because i keep pressing the fucking volume button <laughs> um i've got to put supports for these cross members in um so basically as you see here this will go on here and then what will happen is that will then attach to that rising it to the same height as what the rest of the decking is going to be um which will then give us that nice platform to do our decking um, this isn't secure because I haven't lined it up yet. I can't do that until I put the bracket in. So I'm going to crack on, do that now, put you in another time lapse, and back with you shortly. So, peace. <laughs> So there's the center pieces in place. I haven't tightened it all. I need to do the brackets underneath. So what I'm going to do is quickly lift this bad boy up. So I can do all the brackets. Let me put it a little bit higher. To it. There we go. So there we go, the brackets on. So this is the underneath of what the decking panel looks like. This is the one that lifts up which is here, the rest of this C-shape here will be solid. And then our um, storage bag will sit underneath this. Spare tire and stuff will sit around here. But yeah. Um... 
<laughs> little tug next to us. Uh, right, so I'm going to crack on now. I'm going to attach these bolts here. These bolts are holding up this subframe, which allows us to then put the um, decking pieces on at the right height. I've also got to put a panel across from here to here, um, which is going to be a nightmare, but I'll figure out a way. Um, yeah, let's crack on with that. Peace. guys so just a quick update on this whole system and how it sits and what we've done um, to make it solid but um, what we've done is get these panels these metal bars in line with the top of this so what we've done is attached a bolt dead through that into this support bracket here so this is the support for most of the decking up on here it's rock solid held in by 60 mil m6 bolts um and then 90 degree bracketed it to the main frame um this now sits absolutely flush with that look and it sits flush nice and flat and that just needs bolting in across the top in the middle now um and all the rest of it will need bolting in this allows us to have all the panels flush and then where am i Measurements being right and the spacings in between. It's nice and flush looking down onto the actual um, roof window itself. And then I need to create a bracket that will sit on here to hold up the center piece that we go in here. But for the time being, we're going to do this and then I can add that bracket later on. I need more of this aluminium um, strutting. This will come next week. So it's going to be a two part. Um, Two part series, two part of episode for the roof decking, which I'll I'll, I'll finish it off once I've done this roof bit here, um, and then I'll create that decking on another time. I've got all the I've got all the pieces of decking. I just don't have the materials for that. I'm contemplating using some aluminium sheeting to base it, so um, nothing drops down onto the window whilst we're on it. So like an aluminium sheet like this, the white stuff underneath the decking and the decking will screw straight into that and then what will happen is i'll do like a little frame that will lock in so i'll have the bolts on it and it'll lock in here so you just put it in at an angle it'll lock in and it'll sit on a ledge on the other end if you get what i mean so that's how we're going to be working this one um it should work hopefully it works if not i'll be fuming because this is a lot of work done um but yeah uh, I'm going to crack on now with um, bolting these um, other supports in, so another support for the other side, and then the 20s so I can put on a white side panel on the side of the van to finish off the side look as well. So what I'm going to do now is put this in and the 20s in on the other side as well, and then we should be done. Sweet. So it's just laid in place for now. I've got to bolt each part in now um, along each metal framework. It's just going to be three lines of bolts. <sighs> Looks fucking dope. Like, fully weight bearing. But I've got to put some extra support beams underneath each side of here so it doesn't bow down. As you can see, it's bowed down. So I'll put a support beam here, support beam here, and a support bar underneath that will all connect and keep it upright. But so far, so good. Need to cut that one piece down just slightly because it's overlapping by a bit. And um, I won't give this solar panel enough room to lift. So catch on it every time. 
So yeah, let's crack on and do that. some new tools guys i keep losing all my bits so i bought myself some new ones um yeah happy days look at that bad boy nice long one um right stupid o'clock in the morning i feel horrendous i didn't sleep very well um and i'm out here with you guys today so got to get some work done so we're doing the decking i got some new little cool things for it so the handle for the deck and the lift. So do you know the um, the bit of the deck that moves and lifts up? <laughs> That's the handle for it. That's also the padlock um, bracket for it. So it'll all be um, padlocked down, won't move. And the bouncing when we're driving. Um, what I'm doing at the moment, so, I can, so you understand is, see in here, these de decking clips, what I'm doing is putting down a decking piece putting the decking clip in either end, putting another decking piece, pulling it across, and then actually pilot hole in each of the decking panels, and then putting a, and an M6 bolt straight through them. I'm not using the decking separators, because I want it to be rigid. One flimsy little nail in a, in a decking holder is not gonna be rigid, especially going into metal. Um, if it was going into wood, then yeah, maybe. And it's not on a motorway every single day, then yeah, maybe. But this has got wind, this has got battering by the elements, so we decided to bolt that down. Um, so what I use for that is just a 30 mil M6 bolt that goes through the back, through the decking, and then gives you enough space to go into the groove and into this in, inset bolt on the aluminium. The, the stuff that we've built this whole box with. Um, the nuts for them are like stupid expensive. So, um, yeah, uh, 20 quid for like 50 of them. It's a joke, especially when you get the fruit. I've got through over 250 of them now. Um, so yeah, I'm running low, but I'm stripping them down from other parts that I haven't used. Yeah, 90 degree angles that I've made, but I haven't used. Um, there's a couple of spare bolts on them, so I'm going to crack on with this this section of the build, get the decking up. I want to be up there having a fucking brew tonight, so peace. Standing on decking on the top of a van. La, la, la. This is what it looks like. It's amazing. Can't believe we've done this. So we've got um, decking all over the top of the van. And so another solar panel will go there. Another solar panel will go there. And they're coming in a couple of weeks. Um, I can walk on every part of this without it bending or bowing, which is brilliant. So we've now got a nice secure sun deck. What I'm going to do is put an inside liner of decking, which will give a ledge, which then I can then put the top panel in, which will allow us to have one solid piece of decking up here. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to finish off those two bolts, and then I'm going to go get myself um, the other pieces of decking and the wood to do that. So I'm going to wood brace them at the back, and then I'm going to put them in. And yeah, crack on with the build. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Um, 
But yeah, it's looking good. It's looking flush. Everything looks flush. The solar panel looks flush. Like that bit there lifts up. Like you wouldn't even couldn't even tell from the looking at it. So I'm gonna crack on with that now, and I'll see you guys in the bizzle. Hello guys, we're back. Um, right, but this deck in here, this deck in here, and me, me, this ugly mug. Right, basically, I've got to cut this down to 54 mil. Um, I've got to do five of those cuts because what's going on now is we've got the center piece on the top of the decking to be built. Um, what I'm going to do is do five lengths of 54, put two support beams in and use the spacers from the um, decking spacers, like the little brown ones, and screw them directly into wood. This will allow us to have that base um, for the time being to see what it looks like, see if it fits. Um, then what will happen is um, when I put in the side skirts for all of the, um, what is it, for the bit around the window, um, it will sit perfectly on top of that. Now, I've not done this before, so it's just trial and error to see whether it works. I'm not going to be drilling anything into these 54 piece lengths because I don't want to fuck with them um, until I've built it properly and I can see what it looks like. So it won't have the metal bolts like everything else, it just have the spaces in between. But it's a separate piece that can be taken out and put back in whenever we want, which I'm happy with. Um, so I'm going to crack on, cut these, and then come back to you guys when I've cut them. Um, and then we'll have the centerpiece, hopefully. So let's crack on. Okay, for you guys that are watching at home, uh, this is just a quick show of what we're doing right now. Um, basically, I have this wood batten. Um, it's ply. It's, uh, no, it's not. It's timber. I thought it was ply. Dumbass. Um, basically, what happens is this sits in the groove, as you can see, inside that groove there. And then you screw directly down into it, and it locks off both, both pieces onto that piece of wood. Do you get what I mean? So once they're both on, they'll lock off through this bolt here and they become pretty much invisible. And they are exactly the same width, if not a little bit less as the battens underneath. Um, and then I've left a gap along the sides here where my finger can go down, it's probably about an inch, half an inch gap, uh, half a, yeah, half an inch gap um, so that I can have that lean onto something, so rest onto something. Each end piece here as well will sit into a groove. Um, because what will happen is inside inside the um, window box bit this will be sat in there and it'll be attached to the in inside of there so what will happen is put that there in theory it will sit onto it like that um, and it will sit in between it all which will be absolutely brilliant um, so I just need to go um, line the inside of the the window box with that with the black stuff that we had because it's not pressure weight wearing bear, pressure bearing in there um and then put this on top of it but first i'm going to put it together to see how it looks um and then we'll crack on with doing the inside of the box window peace done guys that was nice and easy so this is what it looks like from the bottom nice and clean um i'm gonna treat this wood put a bit of it. like um oh, i don't even know what it's called oh, i'm not thinking straight at the moment <laughs> but that's what it looks like from the front it's quite heavy um that'll sit in between the where the hole is um i need to go put that in now see whether it fits and then once it's fitted, um, we can 
start putting in the inside of the window frame. It's going to be an absolute nightmare because it's got to be done with like long bolts and I'm struggling to find my bolts. Um, so I might have to go buy some. Um, it's shit, but it's, it's the problem that we're at, that we're at, at the moment. Um, cheers for following up until this point. Um, it's starting to get exciting now. So this is where the build starts to like really, really show its potential of like its finish. So once um, I've gone onto the roof and put this up, we'll see what it's starting to look like. And it will, trust me, you will not be, um, what is it? What's the word? Annoyed? No, you'll not be this. Appro oh, fuck it, disapproving. You can go with that. That's not your vocabulary. It's mine's terrible. Um, you'll not be disapproving of what it looks like. <laughs> Hopefully, anyway, it, it should look really good. Um, it looks clean as, clean as anything so far. So I'm going to trait this up to the top. Actually, I'll do it with you on here. So we'll head up now, see what this looks like, see if it fits. If it doesn't fit, then I'm going to do some trimming. Um, and see how that goes. I've got to get up a bloody ladder with you guys. Um, did it before, so I should be able to do it again. No hands and all that. All that good, Jazz. Oh, here we go. And we're up. That's gonna fit in there. I can guarantee it. It's gonna fit in there. I'm really happy about that. Um, I might just put a couple of bolts in there for the time being to see what it looks like, um, and then whack it in properly. But I need to put that the uprights, the uprights into here, which will create a ledge for it to sit on. Um, so I need to find out what the thickness is of this, and then deduct that from the piece there. So piece that's going in here we'll have to actually I've just figured it out because I'm not done we'll have to come up to here so that's where it come up to um, yeah there down to the bottom we'll not be touching the bottom of here it'll be a wooden bracket going all the way around the base um, and then it will come up to here so I'm going to measure that cut that and come back and put this in and see what it looks like so peace Let's get these chopped. Corners. 
allowing our post to sit down into it. This post has got the beam attached to it. Do you get what I mean? It's got the decking pieces attached to it. So it's weight bearing now, which is brilliant. Um, so what I'm gonna do is go put these in up on top of the van, then put the fucking roof panel in and let's see if it works. And then the rest of the decking will get put around that. So let's do this. this is it like last bolt put in for the four no we've got six supports in there at the moment the rest will be filled in and this is all the bolts i have for the time being there i literally just had to dig through everything I have to find these fucking bolts <laughs> oh my god um yeah to find these bolts absolute nightmare but now i've got these last two two nuts sorry um, the deck is finalized, except from like the inside rack, build, which needs to be put on um, sooner rather than later. So that we got that full support all the way around. For now, we've got the main eight, like main points of contact, which is the centers and the four corners. So let's see how this bad boy fits. Oh, I'll get you back up in a sec, honey. Okay guys, the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's see this deck in in full form. Um, I'm gonna put this down onto the supports that I've put in. Um, and there you go guys. That's a fully weight bearing decking. How incredible is that? This whole roof has now got decking. Um, I could stand on any point of this. Directly in the middle if I want to. It's fully weight bearing. This is incredible. I can't believe we've got a fucking decking up here. What the hell? <laughs> I'm gonna get this cleaned off. Show you this this cupboard here. This is gonna be where all the plants are. Maria's plants are gonna go in here. Um, we could do other things with this. We could but like these possibilities are endless. Like if you wanted to to save space in your van with your batteries, you could do what we've done here and put some outdoor boxes for your batteries onto the roof and have your cables going down and back up to your batteries and have your battery cell on the roof. Like, why wouldn't you want that? It's incredible. So um, just thought I'd let you all see this, see how sturdy it is. Um, it lines up real nice, real flush. Yeah, I'm so pleased with this outcome. This is insane. Yeah, I'm gonna stop for a second. Just let you admire what we've done. Look, that looks sick. When that other solar panel's on, and the solar panel underneath me is in. All right. <laughs> the, this will look so good. This is gonna look so sweet. Um, let's get to having a beer. Babe, what have we done? And what else is part of this roof box so we can show everyone what we we've done? The solar panels into okay, our roof box. solar panels. One of them. We've got two, one missing there and speaking. one missing there. Two is where <laughs> second solar panel, big solar panel two is where Brett's standing. It's not there right now. It will be there after we buy it. This is our decking. Yeah. It's and made out of composite decking in brown. That's the colour. That's colour, yeah, yeah. It's brown. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's brown. It's very brown. So it means that um, it won't mould as easily as wood if it gets wet. It's not going to stay wet for very long. 
um, and it's very easy to clean. Looks so it looks good. like wood, uh, it feels like wood, but it's not wood. <laughs> I cut the video, sorry. <laughs> Go this on. This other solar panel, yeah. a small one. And this is this hole where my shoes are, is where the other solar panel, like this one, is going to go. Yeah? yeah? What's this here? What's that gold handle? Oh, this is a handle. Lift it up. No, I can't. Yes, you can. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> yes, you can. I'll do it then. So this here. This is for my plant. This whole area here is going to be a little garden. So we're going to line this out and then put a like polytunnel type thing inside there. Um, so that's like ratio type And we're going to figure thing. out what plants are cool with like some shade. After we've cleaned this place. And obviously it needs to be cleaned, but we just finished the decking so I wanted to show you. So this is all done by an aluminium frame um, with the aluminium. And then the decking has been put on top. It's in the US of A. Oh! And that's knocked down into place. There's another little secret, isn't there, babe? If you scooch back, let me show them what we've done. Okay, so we've reset. I'm going to pass the, the camera over to Maria, and she's going to hold it above. I'm going to hold it like above. Like so. Yeah? You got yeah, it? Yeah. So this is our little secret bit that um, I had to fit today to finish off the decking. As you can see, we ooh, have a ooh, roof ooh. window underneath. So that just comes off in one piece. And look down here is our window. And it's dirty at the moment because we filthy roof We window. have to clean all the roof now underneath this. So I'll get the pressure washer up here and give it all a smash down. But this sits onto the little to the little angles here. And they're all bolted on. And that's all at the same height. So that when we put this back on, when we put this back on, it sits onto the ledge here. I'm gonna put another supporting beam down the center just for some extra support. Um, but for the time being, this is absolutely fine. It takes all the weight that we have. This is also upright support for the whole decking, which allows us to literally stand anywhere we want, which is absolutely amazing. Um, what I'm gonna do now is put this back in. So it's as simple as sliding one end in. It's in. It just, it's like a jigsaw piece. That's dropping it. it into place. And then I can sit back on it like I was before, before he moved me. And I can stand on it, do what I want on it. No, Bounce. go away. <laughs> Here you go. So, yeah. Um, so are you happy about that, babe? Yeah. Cool. So from above, this is what it all looks like. Solar panel, solar panel, decking, solar panel, solar panel. You happy? Yeah. What should they do if they want to carry on watching our videos? Like. Yeah. Subscribe. Yeah, and... Notification bell! Oh, bell, bell, bell. <laughs> that Notification little golden bell. bell. <laughs> okay, guys, well, we're going to leave you alone. Um, let you get on with the rest of your day and we're going to enjoy some time alone up here having some beer and some wine. Peace!